because you know media was siding with amber heard so yeah i mean I, again it I, but it totally makes sense that Actman is trying to get the media to go after youtube right because that's what it's about it's not really about truth or any of that shit because otherwise the media wouldn't be supporting you know a domestic abuser like amber heard but uh oh wow i guess the act man really does know <laughs> what's good I mean, this kind of just looks like, uh, you know, if the ship has to go down, everybody has to go down, right? In a sense, I, I guess. I, that would be the only logic behind this. That would be the only logic behind this. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What's going on, everybody? It's Mitsuni Nika back bringing you guys here another video today. And we're going to be taking a look at this YouTuber whose name I will not say, who apparently is making the claim that Actman is over here weaponizing the media and some other crap in order to get his freaking story told about what's going on with him, YouTube, and Quantum TV. So, you guys, if you guys don't already know the Actman versus Quantum TV situation and the situation that's going on with YouTube, there are plenty of videos around on the internet explaining this including some videos of my own so if you guys don't know it yet then go ahead and take a look at some of those videos and get kind of a gist of what's going on but anyway we're going to be diving into this video because it's really fucking stupid how somebody even made this point right here considering what's going on with Ackman and youtube and how youtube is refusing to do the right goddamn thing and instead they just want to demonetize the Ackman and censor almost anybody who talks about him in the situation so if you guys are down for that, you ready for that? Let's get right into this video. Enough of me digressing. If you are with a news or media organization and are working on a story about the current situation, if you would like a comment or interview with me, please feel free to DM me on Twitter and I will try to make whatever time I can for you. Well, it looks like the act man is weaponizing big media now. Wonder what could possibly go wrong. The media has only just, you know, supported people like Amber Heard in the past. Okay, first of all, what the fuck is that dumbass noise in the background, man? Please clean your fucking PC or laptop fans out, okay? Let that shit breathe. Give it some darn headspace and breathing room, okay? Dust the fans out a little bit. How about you get up off your ass and fucking clean the PC fans before you start recording, my friend? Second of all, what the hell is this low quality ass fucking video, man? You got a static photo in the background of your darn video of the act, man, and stuff. And you don't have a single bit of gameplay or anything except your darn annoying voice and dumb opinion of you talking in the background. Third of all, how the hell is there something wrong with the act man trying to get the media's attention about what's going on with YouTube? That is probably the most perfect thing he could do right now is try to get the news media coverage's attention. Okay, not only that, he's also reaching out to Philip DeFranco, a, another YouTuber, okay? who covers news and politics and stuff as well. And not only that, just because a lot of news media outlets supported the Amber Heard situation doesn't mean there won't be some out there with some good in them who might just take the act man's side and cover this darn thing that's going on with YouTube and try to expose the corruption that's going on. I'm not saying that it's like a high chance, but it's a better chance than whatever else kind of plan most people can come up with right now. I mean, Charlie himself said it. If you don't know who Charlie is, Penguin Z Zero, that YouTuber, even he has said that the best thing right now would probably be for the act man to try and get the news media to start covering this whole event. And trying to make honest people like Johnny Depp look terrible. So this is 100% a great idea, 100% high IQ play by the act man. Totally doesn't show how stupid or petty he is as a human being. But uh, let's see what happens. Oh. Something's already happening? What? That was quicker than expected. Oh, wow. Media's already making hit pieces on YouTube. What the hell is the point you're trying to make right here? Okay, sweet. The freaking news outlets and stuff are already starting to cover the act, man, and starting to post this darn stuff around. That's good. That means that it's gaining traction and attention like it should. Apparently, that's an issue, and it makes the act, man, a quote-unquote terrible or horrible human being. Like, what the fuck? You know your life has hit rock bottom when this is the type of shit that you gotta start uploading and showing everybody. Some dumbass opinions like this of a man who has been wrongfully demonized by YouTube on this platform and demonetized by them for standing up and doing exactly what was supposed to be right. Which, you know, was 
exposing Quantum TV for what the hell he is, okay? And YouTube has sat here and done absolutely nothing about it. And in fact, went and said that he was innocent and instead turned to the act man and made him the criminal in this whole entire thing. And then you got idiots like this who are sitting over here finding an issue with the act man trying to get justice served. I mean, I wouldn't even be surprised if you turn out to be some dumb little Quantum TV supporter, one of his few little subscribers and everything, who sit here and stands with him on his whole entire little dumb stance right here that YouTube is going with against the act man. The media was already going and YouTube was pretty hardcore for the coverage of Johnny Depp, right? Because, you know, media was siding with Amber Heard. So, yeah, I mean, I, again, it, I, but it totally makes sense that Ackman is trying to get the media to go after YouTube, right? Because that's what it's about. It's not really about truth or any of that shit, because otherwise the media wouldn't be supporting, you know, a domestic abuser like Amber Heard. Okay, and like you're making this all about the darn Amber Heard and Johnny Depp situation when that's not even what's going on. Oh, well, they stood with a freaking domestic abuser, so why the heck would they ever stand with some YouTubers and stuff like that? The act man isn't really trying to be seeking no truth or justice about this. He's a terrible, shitty human being. <laughs> but, uh, oh, wow. I guess the act man really does know <laughs> what's good. <laughs> I mean, this kind of just looks like, uh, you know, if the ship has to go down, everybody has to go down, right? In a sense, I, I guess. I, that would be the only logic behind this. Is anybody else finding his voice to be super fucking annoying? Like his super little condescending and somewhat silent yet loud at the same time voice where he's like some, well, let's see exactly how the media and them intel, like shut the fuck up already, man. That junk is annoying. Can you please talk normally? If you're going to sit here and give a really stupid opinion like this, can you at least do it without making your voice sound annoying? I would think. Let's let's take a look at the article and see what it entails. Just, you know, let's see how how uh, unbiased and how trustworthy the media is. Oh, the, the article features a vague tweet with no substantiated evidence behind it as a source. I still don't know of any content creator who's being quote-unquote attacked. Uh, probably because Ackman makes a bunch of impulsive definitive statements without anything to really back it up other than his fifis and later has to walk them back. I just find it weird that they conveniently leave out or he fails to let them know what YouTube's response for getting rid of him was. You know what I find weird is that a moronic fucking idiot like you could put up such a brain dead and shit take on your channel and expect it to actually go well. <laughs> You know, it's a stupid reason, right? But there is still missing context. And we all know how important context is, unless we're trying to paint a narrative, right? Then context isn't important anymore. The context is that Ackman's joke was fucking satire. You brain dead idiot. How hard is it for you to understand? Are you secretly one of YouTube CEOs up there who freaking demonetized the Ackman? Because it doesn't seem like you can understand a joke either. But, uh, why were the Actman's tweets and jokes about YouTube and doxing left out? Well, it's kind of convenient to leave that out. Very, very interesting. I don't, I don't know. You guys tell me. Nobody left his tweets out, you idiot. But if you really want to see the tweets, there's already been some act fans of his reposting them around because everybody already knows that his joke was clear satire about the quantum TV situation. No one's afraid of reposting them. The message of this uh, hit piece, or whatever you want to call it, is uh, YouTube is to blame. That is the message. It also makes the claim that YouTube is silencing a community. But I haven't seen that. But what I have seen is a bunch of grifters like Tommy C and Augie RFC capitalizing off of this. Oh yeah, yeah. I can tell that they hate YouTube so much. They're on a corrupt site. Supporting a corrupt site by streaming on it and getting their shekels. But, you know, still bad YouTube. YouTube bad. YouTube bad. YouTube silencing me. Um, how are you streaming then, bud? How are you streaming? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you are spamming your dono link there. Like the good little grifting pig that you are, Tommy. Like the good little grifting pigs that you are. This is literally the most brain dead and dumbest fucking take that I've ever heard somebody ever put up in a video on their YouTube channel, and I'm not joking. You're literally over here saying that people like these two channels over here talking about the freaking Ackman situation with YouTube and him is apparently them trying to like 
just monetize and get money and views and stuff off of this the whole darn situation no there's literally hundreds of videos up right now of people supporting the act man in this endeavor and trying to tell youtube that what they done was a complete fucking no no and yet you're over here saying that there's an issue for people to be covering this topic are you are you literally over here trying to make this dumb claim i mean I'm not even getting monetized off of this content. I don't even have a thousand subscribers, but apparently me still posting about this whole situation means that I'm trying to get money off of this. I What? Also, he's over here talking about how he hasn't freaking witnessed any type of YouTube silencing any creators that's talking about the Atman situation. There is literally... You know what? The Review Tech USA, the Atman, even me... Okay, when I was trying to make community posts about the whole Ackman situation, for some reason, I wasn't even able to upload community posts for a darn while pertaining to the Ackman. Now, can someone try and explain a situation like that to me? Oh, but YouTube isn't silencing nobody, yet they literally copyright strike and took and down videos from Review Tech, Mischief, and A British Potato, and a few others for talking about this whole Ackman situation. And of course, they've done the same, the act man himself as well, because, uh, you know, he's the he's the main thing in all of it. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting how the fear mongering seems to be just that. Fear mongering. <laughs> I haven't seen any people being flagged for mentioning the act man. I have like four videos up that uh, that all have act man in the title and tags. Uh, I, again, could this be a case of the act man just talking out of his ass once again? You know what's funny is that this moron right here is absolutely right, okay? Is that it doesn't seem like he has been flagged or anything from any of his videos pertaining to the Act Man and Quantum. And the funny thing about it also was that he was on everyone's side about how this was wrong about YouTube, and now all of a sudden this guy has switched. Why? I have no fucking idea, but this take right here is absolutely freaking brain dead, okay? Jesus Christ, man. I'll let the people decide how stupid this take right here really is because on a scale of 1 to 10, for me, it's broken, all right? You guys give your rating below on a scale of 1 to 10 how stupid this whole entire take and video is because it just does not make any sense. It's failing to click inside my head. To push a narrative and just hiding the facts because he's a petty big girl. Probably. For those that need to be spoon-fed even more, here are a couple points to note. The media has always hated YouTube. What exactly does this accomplish? And what is the goal? What is the end goal in all this act, man? What a world. What a world. It's a grifty, grifty world. It's a grifty, 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 grifty world after all. Jesus Christ, thank the Lord this video is over. What did we learn today, people? That this might be the most brain dead and dumbest take ever put up on YouTube pertaining to any situation, okay? And especially when it's regarding to the situation at hand right now between Ackman, YouTube, and Quantum. So, let that be noted, okay? That Tommy, apparently you're an issue for over here live streaming and talking about the Ackman situation. I'm sorry, buddy. This channel right here said it, not me, okay? Review Tech USA, all these other darn channels, including myself, you know... It's an issue for us to talk about the Ackman situation. Ackman yourself, well, if you ever see my video, which I don't think you ever will, but who knows. If it, Listen, if you're watching this video, apparently you're a piece of shit, terrible, hor horrible person by this guy's standard right here for trying to get the media to talk about the YouTube situation. I didn't say it, okay? I love your channel and your reviews, okay? But apparently, you know, this guy, you know, his word is what goes. You're a terrible human being now. Apparently, all this is just fear-mongering and not standing up for what's actually right and doing what's right for justice and a load of other stuff that just didn't make any sense that this guy spouted out his mouth. So, anyway, with that being said, this is Mitsuni Nika. I'm not going to keep you guys here any longer. You guys already know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. I've been counting down the days, counting down the days to get out I've been looking for a way, looking for a way from this town And you're too far away, you're too far away to help me now